do better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So we came to give God praise on this morning. We pray, came to glorify the God of our salvation on this morning. We thank you for all of, thank God for all of you who are here on this morning, those of you who are watching via live stream. We thank you. We welcome you to St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ at 189 South Birdneck Road in Virginia Beach, amen, where our pastor is the Bruce, Pastor Elder Bruce Elliott Hughes Sr., amen, and our First Lady is Evangelist Vicki Hughes. At this time, we will have an open, opening selection from our choir. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Oh, yes, I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. He saved me. He saved me. He saved me. He saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, tell me where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Oh, he saved me. He saved me, save me, he saved me. He saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, tell me where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Yes, I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, tell me where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. He 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 saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, tell me where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. One more time, He saved me. He saved me. He saved me. He saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, tell me where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, all standing for our invocation. Amen. See Yeah. 
you for another day, oh God. Yes, we thank Lord. you for allowing us to wake up this morning, oh God. Oh. Life, health, and strength, oh God. Use and activities of our limbs, oh God. We oh, thank yeah. you for safe travel here on today, oh God. Yes, Lord, Lord, we ask that you look upon those who are yet on their way here on today, oh God. Those who are watching via live stream on today, oh God. Lord, look upon each and every one of us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, continue to keep us, oh God. Continue to help us, oh God. Give us strength, oh God. Help us, oh God, today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, as we worship your name, oh God, as we lift up your holy name on today, oh God, help us to do what you would have us to do on today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, look upon each and every one of us here on today, oh God. Touch us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, look upon our speaker on today, oh God. Oh God. In the word on today, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, strengthen her on today, oh God. Let her heart be encouraged on today, oh God. Send healing in this place on today, oh God. Save souls on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, look upon our pastor on today, oh God. Touch him, oh God. Bless him, oh God. Give him strength in his mind, oh God. Give him wisdom on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, look upon the St. Stephen's church family as a whole on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, continue to keep us and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked, un looked unto him, and were, not, and were lighty, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the name of the man that trusted in him. Thank God for the reading of his word. At this time, we will have a selection from the choir. And
worship time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The song is simply says, yes. Will your heart and your soul say yes? Will your spirit say yes? Hallelujah. Pray with us. Will your heart and soul say yes? Will your spirit still say yes? God is saying, there is more that I require of thee. Hallelujah. Will your spirit still say yes? Now will your heart and soul say yes? Will your spirit still say yes? If I told you what I really need, Hallelujah. God is asking, will your spirit still say yes? Now will your heart and soul say yes, yes? Will your spirit still Say yes. There is more that I require of thee. 
He wants us to go a little higher. Amen. Hallelujah. Will your spirit still say yes? Just say yes. From the bottom yeah. of your heart, yeah. just tell the Lord yes. Yeah. From the depths of your soul. Yeah. God wants a yes. Yeah. I'll obey Jesus. I'll go. Because I've made up in my mind that this time I'll say yeah.
Christ in us. He want us to pray and to seek his face and to light ourselves in him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, we are having a welcoming of our visitors from Missionary Tanika Ortiz. address, amen, for the visitors that uh, may be looking for the first time online, and then also to Chris Meekum, I hope I pronounced that correctly, who is in the building, amen. We thank God for our visitors, again, those that are online, uh, for joining us at St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ, where the pastor is Elder Bruce Elliott Hughes Sr., and the elect lady is none other than Evangelist uh, Vicki Clay Hughes, amen. We are a church that is small enough uh, to know you and large enough to serve you. I hope I got that right, amen. The bottom line is that we just love God and we love God's people, amen. So we welcome all again that have tuned in today and then we also welcome you, Mr. Meekum, amen, to praise the Lord with us, to give the Lord your yes, amen and then to carry on with us in the service. You are welcome, one, for, the, uh, for God the Father, two, for Jesus his Son, amen, and three, for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, amen. Know that you are welcome, amen. And at this time, we will have a selection from our choir, and then we'll be back for the ministry of giving in the hands of our pastor, Bruce, El the Bruce Elliott Hughes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Oh, so much trouble. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's all right. That's all right. I know that Jesus. He loves. He will fix. Oh, wow. 
Jesus, he will fix it. I know my Jesus, he will fix it. I know he'll fix it for me. Jesus, he will fix it. I know he'll fix it for you. Jesus, he will fix it. See, I know that Jesus, he will fix it. I know he'll fix it for me. Jesus, he will fix it. I know he'll fix it for you and 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 you he will fix it I know that Jesus he will fix it after a while after a while Amen how many know Jesus will fix it Amen after a while Amen. We certainly honor the Lord today. Amen. To the presider, missionary, Clarissa Davis. Amen. You may be seated. We may receive our offering. Amen. To all the clergy that are present on today and to our visitors. Amen. We bring you greetings from the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. Missionary Ortiz has welcomed you to 189 South Burnett Road in the beautiful city of Virginia Beach, Virginia, the SeaTac section. We love to magnify the God of our salvation. For if it had not been for the Lord, as David said, where will we be? And Paul wrote a letter to the church of Philippi. I said, but my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Has he ever provided for you? Has he ever made a way for you? Has he ever done a door for you? Come on, let's give the Lord a praise on today. Come on, let's give the Lord a praise on today. Paul said, in him we live, we move, we have our beings on today, and we come to worship the God by our salvation on today. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. For rising early this morning, we begin our service at 10 a.m. Amen. We have a scheduled outgoing appointment to go to the Bethlehem Church of God in Christ, so we move the service a few, uh, an hour early. Amen. You have ample time to prepare. Amen. To go to our 3 o'clock service on today. So we still to receive our tithes and our offering on today. Amen. As we give our tithes and our seed offering unto the Lord, he promised that he would open the windows of heaven for us and pour our blessing upon us. We have room up to see and he will bind everything. Amen. That's not like him. Before it comes your way, he will bind it for his name's sake. Amen. So as we give our tithes and our offering, he said that we give our offerings, he will take what we have, he will press it down, uh, shake it together and, and run it over. Shall men give to our bosom on today. So today we ask you, give that 10% unto the Lord. Of course, the 90%, you can do whatever you desire to do with it. We just ask you for a 10th portion on today. So as we stand all over the building, amen, have tithes and offering this morning from the Elder Roderick Rose. We have a seed offering from uh, Deacon Dalton, Gregory, and many of you, as myself, have already given through the St. Stephen Giblified application. But you also give today Elder Devery Davis has a card machine. And these great men of God have offering vessel for vessel for offering and a vessel for our mission offering on today. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus again, uh, we thank you for your love and for your kindness. God, we thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you for your grace. God, we thank you for an opportunity to give today to give to you on today. God, realize that all things come of thee. And Father, such we have to give it back to you, God. That's the gift that we're giving. God, let it be pleasing in your eyesight. And as we give, God, don't let anyone go lacking in any way. And these are all the blessings we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. Oh, I woke up early this morning. My heart was beating right on time. I said, Lord, I truly thank you for opening up these eyes of mine. And then I went over to my window, and while looking through the shade, once again I had to tell him, thank you, Lord, for letting me see another day. And everybody ought to praise his name, be thankful and praise. Everybody ought to praise his name. Oh, yeah. Because if a robin can say thank you, you can do it too. Yeah, yeah. You got to praise his name. Be thankful and praise his name. Everybody ought to praise his name. 
everybody ought to praise his name. Oh, yeah. If a Robert can say thank you. Oh, yeah. If a Robert can say thank you. You can do it. If a Robert can say thank you. You can do it, too. Get the meat of the word. Amen. Our speaker today is none other than Miss Evangelist Vicki C. Hughes. Vic Evangelist Hughes was born to Mr. Elmer Spence and the late Mrs. E. Constance Thurgood Spence. She's raised in church all her life and was re reared in early childhood at the Bright Star Coach under the leadership of her grandfather, the late Elder John P. Thurgood Sr. At Bright Star, she accepted Christ under the pastoral care of her uncle, Superintendent Y.D. Thurgood. In her teenage years, she joined the New Jerusalem Church of God in Christ under the tutelage of her late uncle, the Bishop Barnett K. Thurgood. There, Vicki grew spiritually in Christ and learned and worked in many capacities. She served on the youth choir and youth usher board. She was the assistant youth Sunday school teacher and was a member of the nurses unit as a junior nurse. Missionary Hughes was married to Pastor Bruce E. Hughes, senior, for over 32 years and to their union, amen. <laughs> and to their union, they have two sons, Tyler Xavier and Bruce Elliott Jr. In her young adult years, she answered the call and became a junior missionary. In 1999, Vicki was licensed as a and evangelist missionary. As Sister Hughes matured, matured in the Lord, she was appointed as the junior missionary leader, and later she was the expirant missionary leader. Missionary Hughes found her calling. It was the children. She worked in the children's church for 23 years and became president of the children's ministry for 12 years. Missionary Hughes says she loves working behind the scenes. Amen. Sister Vicki continued to work at New Jerusalem under the leadership of her late cousin, the elder Adam Thurgood. After his urgency for her to minister with her husband, Evangelist Hughes joined the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ under the leadership of the late Bishop Ted Thomas Sr. At St. Stephen's, Sister Hughes assisted late mother Charletta Thomas faithfully and was a member of the eldest ministers and deacons' wives' circle and is a member of the Missionary Circle. Evangelist Hughes is a member of the Women of Faith Ministry. After the passing of Bishop Thomas and Mother Thomas, Elder Bruce and Evangelist Hughes became pastor and first lady of the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. She is the president of the Elders, Ministers, and Deacons Wives Circle. Evangelist Hughes loves crafting and working behind the scenes. Evangelist Hughes has started a new chapter in ministry. He has a heart for women's issues, spiritually, mentally, and physically, and is currently working in ministry to educate women about their health issues and minister in any way she can. Receive her as she comes. Gives her, give her your amens and your attention. After the choir sings their song, please receive her as she comes. If I never sing another song down here on this earth, I'll be singing with, with the angels in my, in my new home. If I never sing another song down here on this earth, I'll be singing with the angels in my, in my new home. I'll be singing, I'll be singing, I'll be singing, I'll be singing with the angels in my, in my new home, yeah, I'll be singing, I'll be singing, I'll be singing, yeah, I'll be singing with the angels in my, in my new home. 
if I never sing another song down here on this earth, I'll, I'll be singing with the angels in my, in my new home. If I never sing another song down here on this earth, I'll, I'll be singing with the angels in my, in my new home. Yeah, I'll be singing, I'll be singing, I'll be singing. because we didn't wake ourselves up. And Lord, we thank you. Thank you, dear God, for the activities of our limbs. Lord, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for the breath in our body, our ears to hear, our eyes to see, and we thank you. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to come together again this morning. Thank you, dear God. We thank you, Lord, because you are great, and you're awesome, and you're worthy to be praised. Lord, I ask you right now to look on the saints that are here and those viewing on live stream. Touch their bodies right now, dear God. Everyone that's afflicted with pain, dear God, touch right now, dear God. By buying the pain right now, Lord, send out the healing virtues right now, dear God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch them, dear God, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet right now, Lord. Oh, Lord, please look on those the mothers and the motherboard all touch them right now, dear God. Strengthen their bodies, dear God. Look at those in the hospital, dear God. Touch them, dear God. And those who aren't saved, Lord, the soul that's nearest to hell, I ask you to touch them, dear Lord, that they will ask, what do I have to do to be saved? And save them, dear God. Give them the opportunity to be saved, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, you may be seated. <laughs> Giving honor to God, to Pastor Hughes. Thank you, Pastor Hughes, for allowing me to come to the elders on the roster, to the ministers, um, to Mother Durham and the Mother's Board, Mother Tally, to Mother Freeman and the Evangelists, to Chairman Deacon and the Deacon's Board. And to everyone that gather here today and view a live stream, hello, welcome. I 
do not take this lightly. And I just pray that this word that the Lord gave me will touch someone. And I'm just going to, as you all know, I am not a speaker, so I'm not going to be up here long. You know, I'm, I think my longest I've ever been was 15 minutes. So, and my shortest may have been seven. So somewhere in between there, I'll fall. Daily I shall worship thee, Lamb of God, who died for me, who has been dead, endless mercies, daily I shall Worship thee. Can y'all sing that with me? Daily I shall worship thee, Lamb of God who died for me, who is and endless mercy. What, how can y'all say? Anybody, set your testimony this morning. We're going to just do it one more time. Daily I shall worship thee. This morning, you'll find me in the book of Daniel, chapter 9, and I'm going to be kind of bouncing through chapter 9, 1 through, 1 through 3, and then Daniel 10, 2 through 3, and then we're going to drop down to 11 through 13. Amen. <laughs> okay. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahaziah, of the seed of me, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, stood, excuse me, understood by books the number of years whereof the world word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he will accomplish 70 years in desolation of Jerusalem. And I set my face upon the Lord to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Verse 10, uh, excuse me, chapter 10, verse 2. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself at all until three weeks, three whole weeks were fulfilled. Down to 11. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God. Thy words were heard, and I am come for thy word. But the prince of kingdom of Persia withstood me one twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief prince, came to help me, and I remained there with the king of Persia. Maybe six. Amen. Oh. And if I had to give a topic, or my topic is preparing for spiritual battle. 
in our lives, we have ups and downs and difficulties and issues. Sometimes it seems we have trial after trial with no break, uh, death after death, loss of a job. Your washer and dryer decide they just gave up the ghost and stopped working. And then before the repairman can fix your washer and dryer, then your refrigerator dies out. And then we may say to ourselves, Lord, can I get a break? What's going on, Lord? Can I get a break? And not the, or even after that, sometimes our children will come home sick. And so there, there's another bill that we have to uh, dish out some money. And so, you know, is it just me that sometimes you just stop and go, what is going on? Okay, in our lesson, lesson text, the background, we'll give you some background. Uh, prior to the lesson text, we find that Daniel was living in Jerusalem. And the Israelite has sinned against God by worshiping false gods and disobeying the Lord, because man, and God had told the children of Israel that if they choose to disobey him and his commandments, he was going to punish them. Now, to put this so that the little ones understand, because I sit right there on Sundays, and I see them playing and cutting up, and their parents like, let them stop it. And... They just look, and they stop, then they start again. And I'm like, Lord, they know their mama going to get them. Why are they still doing it? It's still being disobedient. And so, well, that's what the children of Israel did. They just kept on. And you know what God said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. So, and, and some of your parents, I know I tried to be the extended Lord, the extended angel, and run out and try to grab the child to save them, have mercy on them. I try to pull out the grace and mercy on some of the children. But I know there's one particular saint who's quicker than quick with that ruler. Before I can get to the child, that ruler had already got them. So, but we're not going to call any names. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So the children, they continue to worship false gods and uh, obey and disobeying God. And so God punished um, his people by allowing the Babylonians to invade their land and take them as slaves to Babylon. Now, the thing is, if God said he's going to do it, even if it's good, he said he's going to bless you, he's going to bless you. If he tells you to stop being disobedient and you misbehave and be disobedient and he said he's going to punish you, he's going to punish you. Numbers 23 said, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he shall repent. He has said, and he will not, will he not do it? Or has he spoken, he will not make it good and fulfilled? In the lesson text, we find Daniel studying the word of God by studying the Bible of, Jer excuse me, the book of Jeremiah, where he discovered that the 70 years of captivity of the God's people were almost over. As Christians, we must read and study our Bible. We have to read the word of God to understand what we should and how we should live for him. How often do we open up our Bible to read it? Yes, let's think about that. Some of our Bibles, the pages are still stuck together from being brand new. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly divided, the word of truth. That's, that's why it's important for us to read our Bible. And I'm going to throw in a plug and attend YPWW and attend Sunday school so we can get the full understanding of the word. Amen. Because reading and not comprehending doesn't work. Amen. Okay, now go back. So let's look at Daniel, what Daniel did when he realized it was almost time for the children of Israel to be set free from Babylon. He turned to God and confessed. He prayed and he turned to God and confessed. He prayed and he fasted to prepare for spiritual battle. So let's look at his confession. When we petition in spiritual, because we're preparing for spiritual warfare. So when, what's this keep breaking up? When we petition to God, we must confess, as John 1, 
in nine, first John, excuse me, 1 John 1.19 says, If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us for our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We confess our sins, and I mean all sins. You know, some people say, oh, it's just a little sin. There's no such thing as little sin. All sin is sin. So drinking, cursing, sin. Your shortcoming, thinking ill of your sister or brethren, sin. To talk about someone behind their back, sin. Lying, sin. Stealing, sin. Amen? Even to the point of when you go to the store and the cashier give you some money back, more than you should get back, that's stealing. That's stealing. That's not a blessing. That's stealing. Because that person had to make up that, that amount in their drawer when it comes short. Confess your fault one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual and firm prayer of a righteous man availeth much, James 5 and 16. Now, I'm going to tell you, when I was younger, and I had to be, I had just gotten my first car, so I was about 17, 18. When I was younger, I was sitting in the light with my little red Honda 1972 Honda Civic. So, you know, that car was about the size of this podium. It, it was small. It was, it's, <laughs> it was really small. Amen. That's my medicine. Can you um, turn? Thank you. I was sitting at the red light and pray the Lord would, um, that I need some money for gas. I need some gas money. And I was sitting there because I hadn't gotten paid. I didn't have any money. And I looked over. You know when you're sitting at the light and you just look over? And I saw something waving. And I'm like, what? That looked like, that's $20. So I stopped and I looked around. I didn't see any cars around me. Then I looked to see if I saw somebody. There was nobody standing there. So I'm like, thank you, Lord. So I went on, opened my car, got the $20, got back in, drove straight over to Exxon, <laughs> and put gas in my car. So, so then I was like, you know, I, then after I did, I'm like, oh, you know, was that a blessing? So I went, I told my mom about it. And she was like, well, did you see anyone? I'm like, no, ma'am. She was like, well, do you know who it belongs to? I'm like, no, ma'am. She's like, well, then that was your blessing, child. I'm like, well, thank you, Lord. I'm like, won't he do it? Yes, he will. I said all that to say because we don't have to uh, do anything. We don't want anything to block us from having a straight line of communication to God. That if there is anything that may hinder us to seeing God, we have to confess and repent. We cannot go back and pick up or do whatever we ask God to, re whatever it is, we have to ask God to remove it from our heart and our mind. When we repent and confess, we, are, we must humble. We must be humble and mean it from our hearts. Psalms 51 and 10 says, Create in me, O God, a clean heart, and renew the right spirit in me. David made his, excuse me, Daniel made his confessions to God as we ought. We, we ought to say it at times. And it's, I really mean, even when you don't think you did anything, at least before you do communion, Lord, forgive me for all unrighteousness. Anything and everything in my life that is not pleasing to you, forgive me, Lord. Lord, I ask you to take it out of me, dear Lord. Remove it, dear God. That's what we need to say. Matthew 7, 14 said, but, in, but small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only a few will find it. So we have to make sure we have that pathway straight. Remember, we're preparing for a spiritual battle. Secondly, Daniel prayed. Philippians 4.16 said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be no made known unto God. So don't be anxious about anything. Don't worry about it. But in everything, every circumstance, if you need money, your light bills do, your children are sick, your husband's sick, you're sick, anything, everything, 
by prayer and petition, thanksgiving unto God, and make your requests made known. So when Daniel was praying, he started out praising God. He was saying, Lord, you are great. You are worthy to be praised. You keep your covenants and your commandments. Daniel, in his prayer, he included himself when he was praying for the children of Israel. He interceded, interceded for God's people. And then he remembered how, remembered, remind God how he, how it was God alone who delivered the children from Egypt, from Pharaoh. It was no one but God. He also reminded God and said to God that he provided for them in the wilderness. See, God hears our prayer. He hears our, he hears our prayer because Jeremiah 29 and 12, 6 through 13 says, And then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me. I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye sh shall search for me with all your heart. What the NIV version says, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. We pray to God. We don't have to worry, worry that he doesn't hear us. For John, 1 John 5 and 14 says, and this is the confidence that we know. The confidence. The confidence is when you know that you know and nobody can change your mind. You know you have that assurance just like I can say that this carpet is blue and no one can tell me that it is not blue. They might say it's a different shade of blue, but it falls in the category of blue. So when you have the confidence, we have that confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything, 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 that means your healing, material things, your health, your job, your finances, anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that he, we desire of him. So aren't you glad that you can pray to God who hears your prayers and answers your prayers? And you know he knows your name. He knows your voice. You don't have to introduce yourself to him every time you go to pray to him. You see, when you continually pray, your relationship with God grows stronger. Just imagine that you're living day to day with someone and you're not speaking to them. What, the, what do you think is going to happen to that relationship? So stop and think now, husband and wife, and I'm not picking on anyone's husband and wife, and Get up in the morning, you don't say anything to each other. She might make you some breakfast and just put it on the table and still don't say anything. You don't say anything to her, she doesn't say anything to you. What do you think is going to happen to that marriage? Hey, that's just enough space for the devil, the enemy to work his way in. And same with us. If we don't communicate with God, good morning, Lord. If we don't communicate with him, that's just enough time for the enemy to wiggle his way right on in. Amen? And I'm saying more than I should. <laughs> you see, so always, and, and one thing, I'll tell you one other thing I do, and that is when I get a card from someone who's getting married, I always write, pray for each other. And then I put, and communicate really big. Because communication is the key. Amen? So we must com communicate with God by praying continuously. Not only pray in times of trouble, because you know, sometimes that's the only time the Lord will see you or hear you, is when there's trouble going on. But also pray to, pray to him during your harvest season. You know, Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord, for you blessing me. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me over and over and over because I don't deserve it. It was you, Lord, who woke me up this morning. It was you, Lord, who blessed me on my job. It was you, Lord, who protected me from the accident on the highway. Amen. So we're doing all this 
to prepare, we're preparing for a spiritual battle. And David, as he prepared, he confessed to God, prayed, and lastly, he fasted. Now, there are reasons why we fast as saints. We fast because it's a way for us to humble ourselves to God. We are, den we are denying flesh. And some, to break it down, some of the young ones that listen don't know what flesh is. It's yourself, as in self-control. Amen? We are transforming our inner being to defeat self-control, self. Fasting prepares for the work of, of God that he has ordained us to do. Amen? There is a work for all of us to do. Fasting enables the Holy Spirit to reveal to us our spiritual condition. So with your fasting, and I mean totally fasting, and the Spirit speaks to you and let you see and will reveal to you. Now you know that you shouldn't be going over there late at night in that part of town where all you see out there are the drunks, the uh, crackheads, those who are smoking, drinking. What you doing there? The Lord, and, and don't say you're witnessing. No, no, no. That is not the right area to go witness. We fast also to enhance our prayer life, to be richer and more of a personal experience. When we fast, we do not do it for show. Amen? So you don't go... Well, let me tell you my scripture first. Matthew 6, 16 through 18 tells us, Moreover, when we fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance. Meaning, do not be looking sad and gloomy like you can barely make it. Now, just stop. I'm not in church, and I see you fast, and you, you looking like you're about to pass out. Do you think I want that? No. So the people can see you fasting. Verily, I say unto you that they have their reward. When we fast, we do it in secret. We do not go to work and tell people, oh, I'm fasting. I'm not going to eat today. Oh, I'm fasting. No, I don't, I'm not going to watch that. I'm not going to watch the TV. No, I'm fasting. But when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face, we do not look ashy. We go, we wash our face, we brush our teeth, we put some Listerine in our mouth and spit it back out because you got to work with the public. We put on some lotion on our face, and we keep it moving. 18 says that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto the Father which is in secret. And thy Father which see in secret shall reward thee openly. So, that, so our fasting is not to be noticed by people, but to be noticed by God. And God see us, and he will reward. Now, there are several types of fasting. Now, there's the, and in, in uh, this lesson text, it talks about the Daniel fast, where Daniel fasted for 21 days. And he put away uh, pleasant food, meaning uh, food of, of enjoyment. And he only ate clear soup, fruit, juice, and so on. And then we have the partial fast where you may give up a meal and pray instead of eating a meal. And then there's the 24-hour fast. Now, majority of us probably have gone through that because if you ever had any lab work done and the, dad, and the doctor tells you, oh, I need you to fast for your blood work. <laughs> no fasting labs. And it seems like those are the longest 24 hours when you're doing it for your lab work. Amen. But then there's also the total fast. And that's where it excludes all food and water. And that's majority of the time. That's the fast I was brought up on. All right. Okay. That's the fast I brought up on. Where I said that you don't take no water, no food. And we just go and we pray and meditate on the Lord. We turn off the TV. We turn off, uh, what's the other thing? The radio. To social media, thank you. Turn off the social media. We're on the, this, as, as the young children say, we go ghost. It's only you and, the, and God. 
And those who are on medication now, have to check with your doctors first before you fast so they can tell you how to fast. Because you don't, there's a, some medication that you're not supposed to take if you're not going to eat. So that's where you make sure you talk to your doctor so you can work it out and when you can take your medication and how you can prepare yourself for the fast. And I'm going on into this because maybe somebody don't know. So I'm, I'm going to tell you all this. Now, there is a extended fast, and I grew up on the extended fast where we did a three-day consecration in my old church. And I'm going to tell you now, that's when we made sure we was there with the shepherd, and he anointed us, because I'm not going to tell you go out on your own and try to fast on the extended fast and do it on your own. No, you need a blessing. You need a shepherd over you to pray your strength through that. Amen. So I'm going back to my text. For three weeks, Daniel was fasting and praying and not ceasing. Or as we say, he prayed and fasted until he heard from the Lord. The angel of the Lord finally came down and made it to Daniel and explained to him that he was held up by a demonic spirit. You see, so Daniel was praying and praying, but he hadn't heard from God. He, hadn't had, he didn't hear anything. And sometimes when we're praying, it's like, Lord, do you hear me? You know, why you haven't answered this, Lord? You know, just like I'm going to tell you, for example, back in 2017, that's when I started losing weight and wasn't feeling good, and I was sick. And then by 2019, they finally figured out and said that, gave me the diagnosis of Crohn's, and they were like, you have Crohn's. And I'm like, you're born with Crohn's. I haven't had this problem, so why now? And they were like, we don't know. So I kept coming up to the altar, and the saints were praying for me. And then they kept praying for me, and I, and I know some of you all were tired of me saying, pray for me, but we kept on praying, and we kept on praying, we kept on fasting. And then on 2022, this year, that's when the Lord healed my body. You know, you, and I just thank God, because the doctor was like, well, it must have been a misdiagnosis, because I don't see Crohn's. I'm like, well, how about healing? He was like, no, let me do another test. So he went, and I let him go ahead, because I was like, he going to find out. So I let him go ahead, and I did a camera. So he did a camera, and I didn't hear back from him. So I was like, okay, why didn't hear back? So then finally, the next day, his nurse called me. She's like, uh, the doctor uh, wants you to know that everything looked normal. He didn't see anything. And... He was like, you can come back in October. And I was like, uh, how about I don't come back ever? And so she was like, well, it's up to you. And I'm like, yes, it is. It's my healing. I'm not having any problems. And I thank the Lord. So we have to continue. Even if it doesn't look like God hearing you, continue to fast. Keep your faith. Don't give up. So then you continue to pray. And while he was praying and praying for the spiritual battle was going on, this, um, there was a delay. And, but he didn't stop. He just kept on praying. So in our lives, we pray and we ask God to work out our marriages. And it seemed like instead of getting better, it's getting worse. Or we place our children on the altar. I mean, we put them up here on Tuesday. We put their names out and ask the Lord to save them. And they start acting up and getting worse. And then they, they're skipping, doing stuff that you would never think they would do. Skipping school, hanging out late at night, but we keep them on the altar. It seems even the more you pray, the worse the situation may get. But I tell you today, don't stop praying. Don't stop fasting. The situation may make us feel as though God isn't listening to our prayers, but don't stop praying. He's going to answer you. It's just a trick of the enemy. Just keep praying. Praying without ceasing. Because delay does not be denial. Continue to pray and fast like Daniel. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just continue to pray. Remember, God does hear your prayer. He does answer your prayer. He sees you. Amen. So don't stop praying. The Lord is high. Don't stop praying.
has not come or or if you are not if you your relationship with God is a little stressed or if you just need prayer for any reason you can come to the altar and we'll pray with you the missionaries and the elk deacons and all we'll pray for you if there's anyone amen
Yes, yes, my Lord, my soul say yes, yes, my soul say yes, 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 my Lord, my soul say yes, yes, my soul say yes, 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 my Lord, my soul say yes, yes. In the morning, yes, 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 my, in the morning, yes, yes, in the noonday, yes, 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 my, Lord. in the noonday, yes, oh, my soul said yes, 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 my, my soul said yes, yes. So says yeah, 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 oh, oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes Lord. My soul says yes, 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 yes my Lord, my soul says yeah. yeah. In the morning, yes, yes, yes. yes. Fuck 
forget how you brought me out. How can I forget? No, never. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget it. How you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never, never, never forget. Oh, never, oh, never forget. Never, oh, never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget, 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 I won't forget. Never, never forget. I won't 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 forget. How you brought me out. I won't forget. How you saved my soul. I won't forget. 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 Say never. How you pick me up? I won't forget. How you turn me around? I won't forget. How you place my feet? I won't forget. On solid ground? I won't forget. How you heal my body? I won't forget. How you made a way? I won't forget. When there was no way? I won't forget. How you made a way? I won't forget. Say never, never. Oh. Say never. How you save my soul? I won't forget. How you save my soul? I won't forget. How you made me whole? I won't forget. How you made me whole? I won't forget. I gotta testify. I won't forget. God has been so good. I won't forget. God has been so good. I won't forget. God has been so good. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget it. I won't forget. 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 Say never. Never. Say never. Never. Never forget. Say never. Never. Never forget. Say never. Forget, never 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 forget, I won't forget. Never forget. Never forget. I won't forget. Never, never forget. No, I won't forget. Never, never forget. How you save my soul? Never, never forget. 
And how it made me whole See I won't forget No I won't forget I won't forget Forget I won't forget, 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 I save my soul, I won't forget, I made me whole, I won't forget, I set me free, I won't forget, oh Calvary, I won't forget, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, 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 I won't forget, I won't forget, no, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, I said I won't forget, I won't forget, I'm saying you save me so, I won't forget, I'm saying you made me whole, I won't forget, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, I can't forget, I won't forget, no, I can't forget, I won't forget, how he saved my soul, I won't forget, how he made me whole, I won't forget, how he set me free, I won't forget, I died on Calvary, I won't forget, no, I won't forget, I won't forget, no, 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 no, I can't forget, I won't forget, no, no, I won't forget, 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 are you made me whole? I made me whole. You made me whole. I won't forget. 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 Forget what you've done for me. Did I never forget how you set me free? Did I never forget how you poured me out? Did I never forget no I'll never forget how you set me free. Till I'll never forget how you brought me out. Till I'll never forget, no, never. Yes. Oh, come by here. 
I love to call on the name of Jesus. I love to call on the name of Jesus. I love to call 
on the name of Jesus. Jesus. I love. I love calling the name of the Lord. Yes, I do. I love calling on the name of the Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So much power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I love, I love calling on the name of the Lord. Yes, I do. I love calling on the name of the Lord. And this is what I do. I call Jesus. I call on call Jesus. I call on him. Call Jesus. Oh, yes, I call him. Call Jesus. When burdens get me down, call Jesus. Life is hard. I call Jesus. You call on Jesus. I call Jesus. Call Jesus. I call Jesus. And call Jesus. Call Jesus. And call on Jesus. You call on Jesus. Call Jesus. You call on Jesus. Call Jesus. I love to call on the name of Jesus. I love to call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. I love to call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. I love. I love calling on the name of the Lord. Gracious Father God, we thank you right now. Father God, for the word that was spoken in this. Thank you, Father God, for those who are sold into your servant on today. And we pray that you bless it, O oh Father God, that it be you, O oh Father God, for the upbuilding of your kingdom and the island of Satan's stronghold. We bless those who gave, O oh Father God, in the name of Jesus, those who desire to give. We pray, O oh Father God, that you receive the call. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Thank God. And amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We thank God for the rich word that we received today from the sunshine of this house. Our elect lady, amen, preparing for spiritual battle. Hallelujah. Those are nuggets that we can take along with us, amen, that will enrich our souls and also keep us focused on the Lord because we know that victory is already ours, amen. We thank God for the month of October. We thank God for the service this morning. We know that we are an abbreviated service because we have an outgoing appointment at 3 p.m. today, and we will be with Bethlehem Church of God in Christ. Amen. We can clap on that. Amen. Amen. And then just moving along in the month to just give you some highlights, YPWW will continue on Thursday, and it's via Zoom at 7 p.m. Sister Shanina Owes is the president of YPWW. Also, we have our state leadership meeting that will be on October 22nd, at 11 a.m. And I believe that is also at Bethlehem, amen, because it will be the installment of none other than Pastor Edmonds, amen. The Lord has really blessed that young man and his family, and we thank God for what he's doing in his life. So the state leadership meeting will be at Bethlehem Church of God in Christ at 11 a.m. Also wanted to remind you that the laity reports of $20 for the National Church of God in Christ and the missionary reports are due today. So please see the finance office with your uh, missionary reports, amen, that e text was sent out, I believe, yesterday a night uh, by Evangelist Rose, and then also our laity is due today, amen. And the laity is for all members at $20, amen. And then on the 23rd, somebody say the 23rd, amen, we'll be worshiping in pink. That is our annual service, amen. So ladies, wear your shades of pink. And that is for the Cancer Awareness Month that we are in. We know that our elect lady is about educating us on our health as well as our mental and spiritual state. And so that Worship in Pink is an annual service that uh, we hold on the fourth Sunday. And it is also Women's Day, amen. And our speaker will be none other than the crown jewel uh, as of today. None other than our evangelist, Maud Freeman, will be the speaker. The usher department will have their usher 
department anniversary, the president is none other than Sister Rosie Oles. It will also be on the 23rd, you see the fly, and the guest speaker is none other than the Reverend Dr. Herbert H. Wilson, Jr. That service will be at 5 p.m. on the 23rd, that's Sunday, amen. Then the youth revival, come on, youth revival, amen, will be held on Saturday, and that is October 29th. The president is none other than Elder Joaquin Ortiz, and that will be at 5 p.m. Our evangelist, or revivalist, amen, for that night is none other than Chair Lady Missionary Jordan Mitchell, amen. Bring the youth out, bring yourself out as you bring your babies out, amen, because we're looking for the Lord to revive us and re-image us, because that is the theme of the youth revival. And then, amen, then on the 30th, we have Youth Sunday, and our speaker will be none other than Elder Ortiz, amen. And then the last district service for the year will be held here at St. Stephen's. I sent out an email that said that the speaker would be our pastor, the good shepherd of this house, but uh, in his uh, stead, amen, as he advised me, um, Pastor James, amen, will be the speaker, but it will still be healed, held here at St. Stephen's, but Pastor James will be the speaker for that last service, for the district service for the year of 2022. And before I end, I want to give one more announcement and then advise um, of something else. Amen. Uh, in partnership, the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg Service of Public Health and St. Mark AME Health and Wellness Ministry hosts the Dementia and Brain Health Workshop. Amen. This will be held on October 22nd. The time is 10.30 to 1.30 p.m. And you can join uh, them at St. Mark AME Church. And that's located here in Virginia Beach, Virginia, where the pastor is Reverend Tony D. Boone for information. There is a registration required, amen, but if you would like to register, I'll send this information out via email as well, but if you would like to register, you can call 757-401-2009, uh, and there is an opportunity to register online as well. And they will be talking and covering topics, dementia versus Alzheimer's, and then Alzheimer's symptoms and effect and future care planning for those who are affected by that, amen. It is good for us to have knowledge. Knowledge gives us wisdom, amen, if we apply it, and we're able to care for our loved ones, amen. And they have a scripture supporting this, and it's Romans 12 and 2, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, amen. Also want to make sure that you are reminded that the sunshine of this house will be celebrating a birthday this month, amen. And that is on October 29th, amen. And then I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she thought I forgot. Come on, somebody. Superintendent Jacqueline Williams' birthday is today. Yes. Amen. And I know that we have other birthdays. I'm just, you know, highlighting those individuals. But I know we have other birthdays. But I know Superintendent is a worker in this church, amen. And even when she's not working, she's sending me emails on what she wants me to work on. So we thank God for that, and we thank God for her life, and we thank God for her uh, support and ministry in the Sunday school department, as well as among other things. So happy birthday to you, Superintendent. Amen. That is all the announcements that I have for you. Please govern yourselves. Mm, I have one more. I knew I would forget. Please forgive me. Uh, this announcement is from our YPWW. Uh, president, she wanted to know, she wanted to let you know that the YPWW is selling Katie Dids at $15 per can. She has them today. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't need to be eating Katie Dids, then donate. Amen. But don't get yourself in trouble in it because they're addictive. Amen. But, you know, she has Katie Dids at $15. Um, please see her with your support. That is all the announcements that I have for you. Please govern yourselves accordingly and know that I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Turn it back over to our presider, none other than Missionary Davis. Amen. Nothing else to add. Our first lady. No, amen. Amen. All standing. Gracious, I was 
thank you for this service on today, oh God. We thank you for the word that you sent to your woman servant on today, oh God. Lord, we ask that you bless us and allow us to apply it, apply it to our hearts and our minds, oh God, so that we may grow closer to you, oh God. Lord, as we leave this place and never from your presence, establish establish angles around us, oh God. Help us to get to our several destinations, oh God, and let us come again together, oh God, later today and for the next service, oh God, that we would praise and magnify your name yet again, oh God. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen.